Well, my name is Tim Gardner, and I'm the medical director of the IELTS Health Program. And my role is to coordinate the overall care of, of the patients. Um, when patients are referred in uh, for evaluation for the IELTS cell procedure, I'll evaluate them and then subsequently refer the patients on to the other providers who need to see the patient. I don't perform the actual surgery or the islet uh, transplant procedure, but I will go ahead and follow patients quite closely uh, after their procedure. I'm also in charge, along with Katie Darling, in running the multidisciplinary islet cell uh, transplant meeting in which we look at all of our patients who we're considering for the transplant and decide whether or not they need that procedure. So I'm a pancreas surgeon here at Dartmouth. I, um, all I do is pancreas surgery. I'm a surgical oncologist by training and what that means is I'm a general surgeon and then I spend extra time training in surgical oncology. And then toward the end of that training I just spoke focused only on the pancreas, doing pancreas surgery. I am the islet cell lab manager. I handle all of the ordering of the consumables that we use during the procedure. In the OR, I am the person that preps all the medias that we use and the enzymes and the other, uh, the final prep of the islet cells. I'm the endocrinologist, so I take in care of patients uh, with diabetes. So basically, after start seeing patients, even before the surgery to prepare them, I mean, what life after auto islet cell transplant, if it work, if it won't work, and whether they're the right candidate. Well, I'm a um, adult psychiatrist, and I do psychiatric evaluations of the people who are candidates for the procedure. The things that I'm looking for are things that might be wrong or psychiatric disorders or illness, for example, severe depression, uh, if someone were severely depressed or suicidal, we would want to treat that before we would sign them up for a complicated surgery. If they were uh, had a psychotic illness, that would need to be treated. If they had alcohol-related chronic pancreatitis and were still drinking alcohol, then we'd want to address that first. And occasionally there have been patients where they were on a medicine uh, prescribed somewhere by somebody that uh, had as one of its risk factors diabetes. So we would like to make an adjustment in that or stop it if possible uh, before we proceeded. So those are the kinds of general, generally the kinds of things I do. Most of my role comes when patients need help um, during the process. Um, while they're waiting for their islet cell procedure, um, they call me. I'm kind of I kind of just facilitate and coordinate and and help manage their symptoms if they're having pain or any other symptoms. They can call and speak with me directly at any time during during the day, and I just basically speak with them and act as a liaison between you know the patient and the doctor to help get their questions answered. I'm a gastroenterologist and I am often asked to see patients with chronic pancreatitis. Typically I'll see them in the clinic and evaluate them with a careful history and physical and then often in their diagnostic evaluation we'll do uh, an endoscopic ultrasound exam which is the most sensitive way to image the pancreas. So I think the islet cell program's challenges are, there are a few of them. I think one of the things we struggle with is really which patients are gonna benefit the most from having an ion cell transplant. Um, not every patient who's referred to us, in fact, about two thirds of the patients who are referred to us for this procedure, we, we turn down for a variety of reasons. And we're still trying to figure out exactly which patients are most likely to benefit. And we're part of a large uh, trial with other centers trying to figure this out uh, to determine exactly who will benefit. The other issue is timing of the procedure. When do you go ahead and do you do the procedure? Uh, for some people, that's early on in their disease course. For others, they're not ready for it, and it's got to be a process in which they eventually themselves come to the realization that it's something that they want to go ahead and do. Um, there's no right or wrong answer as far as the timing for people, and what I try to have people tell me is when they're ready. It's not a decision uh, that I can make for them. Well, the benefits to doing intraoperative isolation is that really that there's never any uh, wasted time in a sense. The pancreas never leaves the operating room. We have total control over the process. Um, it's completely sterile. There's no uh, infectious issues or contamination issues that could occur. 
or less contamination issues that could can occur. And so it's a it's a more sort of efficient process. So it's kind of ironic. We went from a procedure where we took the pancreas to a different state, isolated islet cells, and now we're not even let the not even letting the pancreas leave the operating room. Um, and it happens all in one day. In you know, Dartmouth Hitchcock, we have a great team of people who are really passionate about taking care of these of these patients with chronic pancreatitis. And it really takes that type of passion because this is not a quick fix. You know, we are you need to be completely dedicated, and so it, it's really a team effort. And that's what really makes uh, this process that we can offer the patients so successful because everyone's so committed. We're really proud of the fact that Dartmouth Hitchcock has an island cell program. We're one of the few uh, hospitals in the world uh, to offer this procedure. And again, it is a procedure that offers hope to certain patients with chronic pancreatitis. We think Dartmouth is a great place to have this done because we have the resources to support uh, the program. We have very talented uh, physicians and support staff to help folks get uh, through uh, the procedure and we're really interested in having patients do well. Uh, for me, the reward is seeing a patient thank me, uh, thank our team, and do well uh, after they've had an island cell uh, procedure. There's no better feeling than that.